Hello everyone, myself Dr. Devesh Mishra and today I am going to teach you about a very important topic from NCERT Biology for NEET UG exam that is mechanism of breathing. So breathing is also known as pulmonary ventilation, right? Mm -hmm. So breathing or pulmonary ventilation both are same terminology mm -hmm. and basically they involve two stages in the breathing or pulmonary ventilation. So what are the two stages? One is called inspiration and second is called expiration. So there are two stages, inspiration and expiration. So what is the meaning of inspiration? See the name itself is telling inspiration means inside the lung. So when we are taking air inside the lung, that is called as inspiration. And when we are exhaling air outside the lung to the atmosphere, it's called as expiration. So basically this inspiration means taking air inside the lung, this will involve contraction of the muscles and that is why it is considered as an active process. So inspiration is an active process. But expiration, whatever air we have taken in, now because of that muscle will contract, we are having inhalation or inspiration, now this muscle will relax. So that relaxation is a passive process, that is why this expiration is considered as a passive process what happens during inspiration and expiration what is the reason for inspiration and expiration in our body or in our lung tissue that was the question in exam right so remember this is because of the differences in the pressure differences in the pressure between atmosphere and into the lung right so we can say that it is a pressure gradient so what i want to say that inspiration and expiration both the processes both the processes because of pressure gradients which has been developed between the atmospheric air and the lung air, right? So now we can say like this, both the processes of inspiration and expiration is because of pressure gradients, right? Means difference between the concentration of the pressure into the atmospheric air and lung air. So between the lung and atmosphere. So again, I will, I will repeat it. I would like to explain this inspiration like this. What happens in inspiration, right? In atmospheric air, when you will see the pressure of oxygen will be more, right? So pressure of oxygen is more in comparison to the lung, in comparison to the lung. So what is happening? So now you can see there is a concentration gradient, right? Higher pressure is in the atmospheric air, lower pressure is in the lung. So what will be the movement? Movement of the air will be from the atmosphere to the lung tissue. So that is how inspiration will happen. So now understand, reason for inspiration is pressure gradient, right? So there is a difference between the partial pressure of the oxygen. When it is more outside and less inside the lung, so they will come inside the lung. So that will be inspiration. When pressure is more inside the lung tissue, in comparison to the atmospheric pressure, so what will happen? Now this air will move outside. Right, So this will be coming outside to the atmosphere. This will be called as expiration. So these are the two process of inspiration and expiration which we will see in this. Right, And both the processes are because of pressure gradient which was the question in exam also. Right, Now we will discuss about the mechanism during or mechanism involved during inspiration. So as already I have told you inspiration means we are taking air into the lung. That's all. Air is coming inside the lung. Right, so why air is coming inside the lung? Why air is coming inside the lung? What is the reason for that thing? So reason for that thing is contraction of two important muscles. There are two muscles which will contract and they will take the rib cage outside, upward and diaphragm downward. So try to understand, when we will have more thoracic cage or thoracic cavity in our, in our chest, when there is, a, there is a movement of the rib cage outside upward, and diaphragm is going downward. So there will be more volume creation. So this more volume creation will be creating less pressure. And that is how pressure concentration or pressure gradient will develop. So for all these things, what will happen? There will be a contraction of the two important muscles which examiner asked. So what are those two important muscles who are going to contract during inspiration? So now I understand. Inspiration is because of contraction. Contraction of muscles. What are those two muscles? One is external intercostal muscle and second is diaphragmatic muscles, right? So these are two muscles which will help in 
inspiration and how they will help by contraction so this was also question in exam contraction of external intercostal muscle and diaphragm muscle how they will help as i have told you external intercostal muscle what they will do see their their origin insertion you can see here external intercostal muscles are going like this right so what they are going to do when they will contract when they will contract look at me what i'm showing you when they will contract so what will happen rib cage will be moving up right they will be moving up and outward so try to understand rib cage is going to move up and outward so if they are going to move up and downwards so up, up and outward so what will happen the space inside the thoracic cavity is getting increased you understand so external intercostal muscle when they will contract what will happen rib cage will come up outward up outward now you understand it is going to coming up and outward so when they are going to come up and outward what will happen thoracic cavity will be getting increase in the size this is number one what will happen to the diaphragm muscle which is here so when diaphragm muscle will contract this will move the diaphragm down so now diaphragm is going down here so now you can see diaphragm is coming down so as a result what is happening that chest wall and lung will expand so now the chest wall is getting expand the chest wall is getting expand diaphragm is going down then rib cage is coming up and outward sternum is also going up and outward so overall overall you can see thoracic cavity volume is getting increased try to understand because of contraction of these two muscles external intercostal muscle and diaphragm muscles there is a increase in the thoracic cavity volume volume is getting increased but pressure is low pressure is low volume is high pressure is low so now you can see that pressure gradient has been developed now you can notice that pressure gradient has been developed pressure is more outside pressure is less inside so what will happen now air will move from outside to inside so this is how we will call this as an inspiration right so now understand this is called inspiration right so air is entering into the lung so oh, again i repeat that what is happening in inspiration right external intercostal muscles will contract diaphragmatic muscles will contract because of external intercostal muscle contraction rib cage and sternum they will be moving up and outward you remember up and outward so now you can see chest chest volume is getting increased same way diaphragm is also getting contracted so they will move down and they will become flatter so this is how thoracic cavity is showing increase in volume less pressure pressure concentration or gradient will develop and now air will be moving from outside to the inside and this is called as inspiration because of the contraction of two muscles this will be considered as active process now let us see what happens in case of expiration so as i said inspiration there is a contraction of the muscle what is expiration expiration as i already said that air from the lungs it is moving outside into the atmosphere so when it will happen so contraction was creating less pressure but now what will happen those muscles which has been contracted now they will relax and because of their relaxation only expiration will happen passively so that is why i said expiration is a passive process because it will happen because of relaxation of the two muscles remember it is important to notice that relaxation of the two muscles play a very major role in expiration that is external intercostal muscle same and diaphragm what will happen when they will relax opposite will be happening so initially in contraction it was up and outward so now they will be coming down and inward so ribs and sternum will be coming to the original position which is down and inward right so down and inward diaphragm what will happen because of the because of the diaphragm when diaphragm was going down so what is below the diaphragm can you guess what is below the diaphragm the gastric contents that abdominal contents so that diaphragm is pushing the abdominal content during the time of inspiration right but now when diaphragmatic muscles will relax what will happen the abdominal content will push them up so that i now understand what i'm saying when diaphragm was contracting during inspiration it was pushing abdominal content down but now when diaphragm muscle will relax it will be getting pushed up by the abdominal viscera and when this will happen along with this there will be a internal intercostal muscle contraction internal intercostal muscle contraction 
will cause ribs movement down and inward so overall what is happening rib is or the chest cavity is moving down and inward inward down chest cavity inward down and diaphragm is coming up so now you can see that thoracic volume is getting very smaller so you can see that what is happening in expiration inter external intercostal muscle is getting relaxed internal intercostal muscle and abdominalis will be contracting because of active remember this will happen during active expiration when you are forcefully expirating right <laughs> like that then you can feel it when you are doing forceful expiration <laughs> So you can see that that abdominal movement is also there because abdominal muscle is contracting. So internal intercostal muscle contraction, abdominal muscle contraction, it will happen during the forceful expiration because this was a question in exam, which accessory muscle can be also helpful in the expiration. So abdominal muscle can be also helpful apart from the internal intercostal muscle, right? So that is how they are pushing diaphragm up and chest cavity is coming uh, you know inside and downward so there is a lesser volume and thoracic cavity is having less volume pressure will be more because of more pressure what will happen now pressure gradient has been created now you can see that what was the reason for the mechanism of breathing pressure concentration gradient between the atmospheric air and the lung air so now what is happening in thoracic cavity volume is low pressure is more so volume is low pressure is more so more pressure is inside the lung and less pressure outside the lung right so now you can see that what is happening here when you are seeing the lung tissue pressure is more when you are seeing the atmospheric area pressure is less so what will happen now this will be moving outside and this is called expiration so this process is called as expiration moving outside so that is how what i wanted to show you that this breathing is because of the pressure concentration gradients that was the question in exam right so now pressure will it will be that increased pressure inside the chest cavity inside the lung will be pushing air outside from the lung to the atmosphere and this process is called as expiration so i hope you would have liked this lecture share it with your all the friends and keep uh, putting your comment below this video so that I can come up with the new section of the new topic whatever is feeling difficulty or difficult for you to understand those concepts I will make it simpler so keep revising these notes keep revising your NCRT biology book you will definitely get success bye bye and see you soon